All right, so we got a classic case of squirrels in a gable. We have a poor exclusion on this gable vent too. They used half inch hardware cloth, which, which that isn't the problem. Um, it was just really loose. And as you can see, they were able to remove the exclusion work and uh, get their way back in. All right, so what I did here is I cut a little bit of this half inch hardware cloth out because it doesn't need to be removed right now. But for my exclusion, I'm gonna remove this and redo it with quarter inch. Um, we're removing it to have a hole large enough to where the juveniles or any squirrels inside can get outside and go into this repeater trap. And I installed this colony trap. And what I've done with the two-way door is just use a zip tie to mount the trap to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So that way, you know, if mom comes around here and sh she's not gonna be able to get in through any of this stuff, but she will eventually, you know, try to figure out a, a different way. So she'll end up in this trap. Okay, let's see if we got anything. And it looks like we got one. Nothing in the car in the cage. All right, we're back again. And it looks like we got a couple juveniles. I'm gonna take your other cage trap, open up one of the doors, undo the spring on the back of this door, open it, flush up this trap just like that, if I can get it in there, and then we'll cook them out. There's one. And there's two. There we go. So, that colony trap is empty. We can close that door. Hook the, sp hook the spring back, just like that. And there you have it. Here's both the juveniles with plenty more room so I can take them to where mom is. All right, this is our last juvenile. Juvenile number three. Okay, we've confirmed all the squirrels are gone. Let's remove this previous exclusion. Okay, so these louvers are just one by eights and they are 28 and a half inches long. On the three quarter side, we'll do an extra three eights so it can grab underneath, but we don't need to do that to the back side because that can just hook on. Take our framing square, run our blade down the edge. We're gonna start out with that three quarter to hook on the back side, and then we're gonna go seven and a quarter for the width of the louver itself. We're gonna go down another three quarters for that bottom piece, and then we're gonna go three eighths to hook onto the bottom. So we'll transfer this to the brake. Put that last line of your measurement on the brake and then score it. Working with what we got here. It ain't the best brake, but it works. So then we'll take, we'll leave our 3 8 because if we bend that, fitting it into the brake is going to be a pain in the butt. So we'll do that 3 8 bend last. So we'll put it at our final three quarter mark and bend a 90 degree angle on that. Okay, and then we'll come up and we'll do the first one at a 90. We're basically just taking on the shape of that board. And we can always adjust that when it's up there. So that's what we're left with. 
we'll take our hand bender, which has a one inch and a three eighths inch side. And we'll take that. Pop it into here. Actually, it's over 24, so we can't do that. So we'll just have to do this. break yeah these hand benders are only 24 inches so we'll just use the brake match it up to that line and then bend to the farthest angle you can go on that this should be plenty so we'll go up there we'll make two of these we'll go up there pop those in and see how they look and then paint them but the peanut butter I, I, I quickly all right so we got to dry fit so I'm gonna take this sealant, put some right there, just so it don't move. Slide it up on the back side until it grabs. Grab right there. That's not going nowhere. I know it's you know that's that's what we usually do. We usually seal up the whole house. So yeah. Well, I mean that's how I do it. I can't speak for anybody else, but you know. Yeah, exactly. Do it good and do it right the first time. Sliding up in the bed right there. Grabs. All right, then I'm gonna paint these. Then I'm gonna get you a uh, a metal border on the outside and put some screen in between that metal. So that way we're gonna have it completely blocked. They're not gonna be able to chew through any of this stuff. Gone? Yeah, they're they're gone now. Okay, let me ask you. Yeah. Um, I repainted the bottom three. It's not quite the, you know, the right match for the color, but it does the job and the customer is okay with it. So we're gonna continue and we're gonna make a border out of aluminum with quarter inch hardware cloth enclosed in it and hem it together. All right, now that we've got our quarter inch screen cut to size, we're gonna close the gap on those border edges and put the screen in between. So how I do that is I'll make sure the brake is closed, take the piece, close it a little bit more so that way you still got a little bit of a gap to slide in there. And what you'll do, you're gonna cut your miters like that. that then you're just gonna slide the screen in between give it a quick little tap with your crimping tool so that way you know we're hitting the bottom and your corners meet up just like that take your crimping tool Go all the way down. And here's the top portion. Again, cut your miters at a 45. You can eyeball it. I mean, it's, you know, just make it look good. I'm gonna slide that inside. There you go. There's your picture frame for your gable. And we'll leave that to dry in the sun for a couple minutes. Okay, once it's dry, this is what we're left with. I dropped my spray paint can and it broke the nozzle off. So now I ran out of paint. So now I don't even have any more paint for these screw heads, but we will just 
use what we got. That is the finished product. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to notice it from the ground. All the problem squirrels are trapped and removed. Mom and the juveniles, the ones, you know, familiar with this house. And um, there's no edge for them to start chewing. They're not gonna chew through that aluminum or that screening. And even if somehow they do, it's covered by warranty. So that's how we remove squirrels from a home, from a gable vent. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I was thorough enough to kind of show you what to do and how to do it. So that's what it looks like. On to the next one.